In this video, I show you how to disable Hyper-V on Windows. If you're new to the channel, please go down below and consider subscribing. And once you've done that, please go down below and consider leaving a like. And let's jump straight into this guide. The first thing you need to do is go and open up Command Prompt on your computer. So to do that, you need to go and tap on Search, just like so, and then type in Command Prompt, and it's gonna automatically pop up. Now, before you go and open it, what you need to do is right click on it and then click Run as Administrator. Um, it needs to be an administrator because otherwise it won't work. So you're gonna go and get a Windows security pop-up asking you to go and um, decide that you want to be able to go and make changes to your computer. Basically, you have to go and click yes in order to go to the next step. Now, I'm gonna go and zoom in on this. And as you can see, we've now got a command line here. And the command you need to enter to go and turn it off is B, C, D, and then edit. So E, D, I, T, all one word. Then make a space and type in slash set. So slash S, E, T, just like so, and put another space. And then what you need to do is type in hyper and then type in visor, so V-I-S-O-R, all one word, and then type in launch type. And this is all one word once again. So don't make a space, just type in launch type, just like so. Uh, all you need to do is then type in off, O-F-F. -F. Then what you need to do is go and hit on enter, and this is gonna go and execute the command. I don't actually want to go and turn it off, so I'm not gonna hit it. And then once you've gone and press enter, it's gonna go and hopefully be successful. And then all you need to do is restart your computer. Restarting your computer is really important because it resets everything and sort of like um, activates the setting basically. And that's literally it, guys. If you found this useful, please go down below and consider subscribing. Peace.